from the PlayStation 1 screen we've got the male and the female connector uh, which I'm going to utilize for uh, recharging the batteries and um, changing the screen controls things of that sort of nature things that you don't do all the time unless we don't need buttons on the case for just to remove this port you could desolder um, I've not had a great deal of success with desoldering on these types of things before so I hacked it away with the Dremel cutting through all the slots backwards and forwards crisscrossing until the, basically the board was cut all the way through this is the result quite neat all the dust is blown away with some co compressed air and these are the two halves which are put together inside the system like so um, you notice the other piece has been completed now good idea just to make sure that each of the pins connect to their corresponding places and that you don't have any shorts still just literally um, test each pin in sequence and against their neighbours and uh, make sure with a continuity tester that there's no um, contact there that shouldn't be to hold the various plugs for the multi-port I'm using this tiny Tupperware container very small little box had it lying around for a little while it's about the same size as two different controller ports I'm going to be using one of those ports as an, as a, uh, an expansion and uh, also various switches and bits that are going to go onto here as you see, small and compact first job will be to take the edging off here put some perfect down there and put all the plugs in the other parts that we need to salvage from this PlayStation connection of plugs firstly there's the black one which is the audio visual um, that connects to the audio and composite line when that's cut off just literally cut through the four metal legs you're left with this port here and on the power side again male and female the female will connect inside the box um, and connect into the portable where the batteries will be located and the male will be connected to the charger unit um, when the cores of two are connected it will then recharge the batteries into the system prepared the case as it is at the moment for a player one port to go into four tactile switches which should be for the playstation screens the volume and the contrast um, the AV jack which will go here and the recharge part which will go here which of course is the yellow one once it's removed on the back a hole has been made for the mail port to go through and therefore connect into the portable itself the next step will be to spray paint these to make them look attractive give it a coat of varnish wait for it to dry and then we can start to fill up the case this black plug is the AV connector uh, for the audio and the visual um, the leg by itself is the composite the one nearest the end is ground followed by right and then left audio that's been installed so far into my little adaption here that's currently placed here next to the recharge jack for the batteries four tack switches for the volume and contrast control of course there's a grounding between the two and the alternative controller port hasn't been sealed in the box yet but this part is complete this is the back which will be connected with the male part of the PlayStation port which of course when inserted into the main portable with this uh, will then allow you to utilize these functions this is the pinout for the plug I'm going to be using as seen from the male side um, because that's the part that's going to be connected into the external device there's 12 pins on the uh, plug 
plus of course the external grounding which is this silver going around the part. So I've been able to work this into actually 10 pins leaving two available. The reason I've done that is that I've yet to test whether putting an external controller into the system um, needs to have the data line uh, disabled um, to stop any potential conflict. If that's the case I have two pins available for it. The AV connection, as in the audio video, um, are within pins 1, 2 and 3. For the PlayStation screen, the contrast plus and minus within these four, and the um, external controller within these two. Reason being, we can still keep the ground connected to the controller in any case. If there's no power fed to it, uh, it won't read it and if there's no data it won't conflict with the controller inside the system. That's the part that I need to experiment with. The recharge, again that needs positive and negative, however we can use the outer for the grounding um, and therefore we just need it for the positive, so I'm going to use pin 10 for that purpose. It's quite a neat little plug, it does work very well. Um, it holds itself while it slots in, but it is also uh, not too difficult to pry apart. Okay, not so easy to show you the innards here. I've had to keep the wires quite short, but you can probably just about see the mail plug at the bottom. Um, the wires are all down here. I've used little pieces of blue tack on the edges. Uh, it's just so that when the box is shut, it will keep it shut. But I can still open it up if I need to, to do any repairs or make any modifications to it. So the part squeezes together quite tightly. And now that's pretty secure. Right, the application of course is to put it into the console. Um, this hasn't been hot glued into place yet, but you get the idea. The plugs cables will pop into here as required, and of course this will slot in place as needed. And there we have it in its entirety. Uh, this of course can be removed as required and bear in mind it's only really going to be applied for things like battery recharging anyway. Most games you don't tend to change the uh, video contrast um, and the same with the audio. So you can just plug it in pop it back in if you need to uh, to make those adjustments. So there's massive wires uh, relates to all the bits you can connect. Of course there's the N64 controller which you would plug into here. There's the audio visual which goes into here and then there's adapted charger for the batteries and that goes into here. There we are. And so those are the screen and the contrast buttons.